Hello Cancers, welcome back to my channel. This is a very short and sweet reading for the first week of March, just energetically. This is what I can put out for this week. So thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. And if you'd like a reading with me and donate to my channel, that information is in the description box. Let's begin. Just know that this is general. Let's see what's going on for Cancer for the first week of March and which door is opening up for my cancers, okay? So I'm just going to now cut the deck since nothing wanted to fall out. And let's do that, do this, and I'll just take the first card out. A cure for longing is this card. So it says, love or happiness, a spark inside. Live deliberately and choose boldly. Then you have arrived. Wow, this is beautiful. Love is happiness. So cancer, yeah, this is about just being very bold this week and just living, living very much in the moment. So this to me is, you know, just every choice that you're making, you're making your choices consciously this week and just do everything that you do, do it with love. And look at that. That always looks like a, a boat to me. Uh, it's just so beautiful. It does. So I don't know that the, there's a sense of sailing a boat also uh, is just what I'm picking up. A cure for longing. That is so beautiful. Love is happiness. A spark inside. Yeah, love is happiness. And that happiness is definitely inside cancer. It's inside, inside. Let's see the card that wants to come up. So let's make these again, like I said, short and sweet. The first card out and the only card actually what I'm getting is resilience. So cancer, don't be resisting in really dropping the burdens that you have been carrying on your journey. So this week, cancer, if you are here, um, whatever it is that you want to release, whatever it is that is about in regards to your happiness. See, you're going towards your happiness, but you can't go towards your happiness carrying a, a shitload of shit. So what does that mean? This means that bringing um, the things that no longer belong on this journey because this happiness, it's not in your things. This is in regards to dropping the things and really going within. So this, again, Cancer, and I have the card of protection that is also falling. So this week it's asking you, you know, what are you resisting and dropping when this card comes out? This is that resistance to dropping things. This is making... Um, really hanging on to 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 the past, hanging on to to all the lessons, hanging on to things. This is where you know your anything that you have helped can actually become your teacher. This is when your uh, resilience can become your confidence. This, there's like so much that goes with this card because it really is. It's asking you, do you you know do you feel that you're enough when this card shows up too? Do we think that we're enough? Do we have the strength to keep going? Do you have the strength right now? You are protected, Cancers. And this is these are the questions that this card asks. Do you have the strength to keep going? And sometimes, you know, we go through that tough time of imbalance and of suffering, but it's also important to learn to grow and then to release that. So you're being really asked to not stay in the suffering, not stay in the burdens. So really, you know, if your cure is for love and happiness, you can't bring that with you. Um, this week, really ask yourself what are you willing to drop cancer so let's see the card that wants to come out um we have work through your fears at the bottom and then we have prosperity lies ahead so yeah so there's things that are you know if you want love and that's a prosperous thing for you if the, whatever it is that you want or your happiness it's saying it's here for you cancer but it's telling you to drop the burdens it's telling you not to be afraid don't be afraid of of, of don't be afraid of success. Don't be afraid of succeeding. Drop anything that uh, stands in the way between you and success, be it in love or in business or whatever that is for you. Just there's fears that you're dropping. Yeah, five of pentacles with the longing. So this is that feeling that, you know, this is feeling left out, left in the cold, feeling abandoned, but it's in reversal. So this is actually something that you are wanting to leave behind. You're looking at it, a cure for longing. Love is happiness, but this girl, she's sitting with the key and it's almost like she's afraid of the light coming through. She's got her head down, but the door, there's a lock here and there's a key here. So understanding that in this reversal that you've unlocked that door and that now your cure is longing for something different, something else with the card of resilience. Yeah, this is what you don't want to bring in, Cancer. Cancer, you're not bringing any more, any more of this shit into your life. Look at that, because this is your... You don't want to bring any more of feeling rejected, abandoned, broken, hurt by friends, family, lovers. 
whatever the story is, what you're doing is that actually you're dropping it. No more having, you know, don't be, don't have resistance and keep carrying this old baggage with you. Just really look at it and drop it and know that you're protected. And actually, as you do, as you let go of your fears, if you let go of that old story, you really come into alignment with what you come into alignment with the nine of pentacles, which is self-reliance, which is confidence. Um, this is masculine, feminine. It's both using your intuition, releasing yourself as an independent in so many beautiful ways. This is coming back in touch with your own beauty. And you know that because you're somebody who's already successful. You're already independent. You already are enough cancer. And the thing to break through is in regards to your heart. Don't allow your heart to weigh you down. See yourself as successful because you truly are. It's just the fear is that love, but that love that you're seeking, you already have a cancer and you are protected for this week. Sending you much love, much light. Namaste.